Ramen Miraku, the long journey to the great and remotest ramen shop in Japan's northwest tip of Rishiri Island. Ramen Miraku, a culinary gem on Rishiri Island, the greatest ramen in the most remote island of Japan nestled amidst the enchanting landscapes of Rishiri Island in Japan. Ramen Miraku stands as a culinary gem that has captured the hearts and palates of both locals and visitors alike. Renowned for its exquisite ramen offerings, this charming eatery has become a must-visit destination for those seeking an authentic and unforgettable gastronomic experience. Rishiri Island, known for its rugged natural beauty and tranquil surroundings, provides an idyllic backdrop for the culinary delights of Ramen Maraku. The island's pristine environment and maritime influences have played a crucial role in shaping the unique flavors that define the restaurant's signature dishes. There's a ramen shop on Rishiri Island off the northern tip of Japan to get there from Tokyo, fly two hours to Sapporo. From there take the train to Wakanai, the northernmost city in Japan, you then catch a ferry to Rishiri Island, make your way to the western part of the island. And once you're there let's hope you're on time, it's only open two and a half hours a day, but the trip is worth it, because the place is said to have some of the best ramen in all of Japan. The noodle making process at Ramen Maraku is equally revered. Skilled artisans handcraft the noodles with precision, ensuring the perfect texture to complement the richness of the broths. Each strand of noodle acts as a conduit for flavor, allowing diners to savor every nuance of the dish. While the food undoubtedly takes center stage, Ramen Maraku's ambience is equally enchanting. The rustic interior, adorned with traditional Japanese decor and maritime elements, creates an inviting and cozy atmosphere. Wooden furnishings, paper lanterns, and nautical accents pay homage to the island's culture and history. Visiting Ramen Maraku Getting to Ramen Maraku on Rishiri Island from Tokyo is not easy. It involves a combination of transportation modes due to the island's remote location. While it may take one day or one and a half day, the journey is well worth the culinary adventure that awaits. Here's a general outline of how to reach Ramen Maraku from Tokyo. Begin with a flight from Tokyo to Sapporo, Hokkaido's capital. It will take you two hours. Subsequently, catch a train that connects you to Wakanai. From there, a ferry voyage awaits, traversing the enchanting sea to Rishiri Island. Upon arrival, local buses or taxis can ferry you to the heart of the island, where Ramen Maraku awaits with its tantalizing fare. I hope you will make it for the ramen restaurant is open only 2.5 hours a day. This multi-step adventure grants not only the pleasure of savoring Maraku's renowned ramen, but also the joy of traversing from cityscapes to island serenity. While the journey from Tokyo to Ramen Maraku may take a day or more, the experience of indulging in the restaurant's delectable ramen while surrounded by the natural splendor of Rishiri Island makes it a memorable adventure for any food lover and traveler. Visiting Ramen Maraku isn't just a meal, it's an immersive journey into the heart of Rishiri Island's culinary and cultural heritage. As patrons savor every spoonful of ramen, they become part of a tradition that has been passed down through generations. The restaurant's dedication to preserving these culinary traditions while incorporating modern twists has earned it a reputation as a culinary institution that respects its roots while embracing the future. Ramen, a beloved Japanese comfort food, has been elevated to an art form at Ramen Maraku. The passionate chefs at the restaurant meticulously craft each bowl, blending tradition with innovation. The broth, a cornerstone of any good ramen, is simmered for hours, extracting layers of umami from carefully selected ingredients. 
Whether it's the rich miso-based broth or the delicate soy sauce-infused version, the soups at Ramen Maraku are a testament to culinary dedication. What truly sets Ramen Maraku apart is its commitment to using locally sourced ingredients such as Rashiri Kombu and seafood. Rashiri Island boasts an abundance of seafood, and the restaurant takes full advantage of this bounty. Freshly caught seafood, ranging from succulent crab to briny sea urchin, finds its way into the ramen bowls, adding a distinct maritime flair that pays homage to the island's coastal heritage. Once you arrive at Rashiri Island, you can explore its natural beauty and local attractions, including Ramen Maraku. The island is relatively small, so it's possible to get around by local minibus, taxi, or even rent a bicycle. Renting a bike is obviously the option way to explore the island at your own pace. You can hike, cycling, enjoying fishing and the hot springs as well as the local cuisine. For both travelers seeking an authentic taste of Japan and locals looking to connect with their heritage, Ramen Maraku offers an unparalleled experience. It encapsulates the essence of Rashiri Island, a harmonious blend of nature's beauty, culinary excellence, and heartfelt hospitality. As the sun sets over the island and the aroma of simmering broth fills the air, Ramen Maraku stands as a beacon of gastronomic delight, inviting all to partake in its flavors and tales of tradition. Remember that the availability of activities may vary depending on the season and local conditions, so it's a good idea to check in advance and plan accordingly. If you like this story of Uram and Maraku, please press like, share and subscribe to button and click the notification bell, you can always receive our new stories. Thank you for viewing this video, I'll see you next story. Go make, go get home.